we'll try this uh, together. So let me pick a random molecule. Let's go uh, acetic acid. HC2H3O2. That's acetic acid. Now we should know how to name this. Uh, it's acetic acid because the acetate ion. Okay, now let's say I'll just pick, uh, I have 15.0 grams of that. Okay? And we'll just do a couple calculations for fun so you can see how to use the numbers correctly. Sound okay? Alright, so I want to, let's first convert this to moles. Okay? 15.0 grams of acetic acid. If I want to convert to moles, I have to use molar mass. Uh, I believe the molar mass, you calculate this from, definitely calculate from the periodic table, I believe it's 60.06. Okay? So this will get me moles. So you got 60.06 by adding all the atomic of all the different ones? Perfect. Uh, 60.06 comes from two carbons at 12, plus four hydrogens at 1, plus two oxygens at 16. Is that okay? Well, what's the name of this again? Acetic acid. So whatever, if you want to calculate that at home, that's fine. Now let's say we continue this, and I did it, don't just want moles, I want atoms or not atoms, molecules of acetic acid. I want to know, if you give me 15 grams, how many molecules of acetic acid are in there? Okay? So we'll take this number, uh, whatever it is, moles, and then what I'm going to do to, anytime I want to get to something small, like atoms or molecules, you got to use Avogadro's. And what you want to cancel must go on bottom. So that's why the moles has to go on bottom here, and this big number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules per mole, the molecules has to go on top. Hi, welcome. Is that okay? Why I put this on top? Because now... Okay. So now, this is going to be so many zillions of molecules that you can calculate at home. Is that all right? Okay. Uh, I can also say, oh, I don't want to stop there. I want to go another step. I want to know the number of oxygen atoms. Mm -hmm. So I have whatever this is, molecules, but I want to know oxygen atoms. So, another step. That number of molecules It's a big number, huge. And I say, well, uh, for every uh, one molecule of acetic acid, HC2H3O2, for every one of those, I have two atoms of oxygen. What that will do is cancel out molecules of acetic acid and now I'm left with two, so it's going to be double the number, whatever that is. And this will get me atoms of oxygen in 15 grams. Are those steps kind of okay? Yeah. Okay, so if I could summarize, I'm going to erase this. If you want to summarize the center of all your calculations from now on, and more so later are going to be moles. You will occasionally want to go back and forth to mass, which in our case will be in grams. The only way to go back and forth is the molar mass. Okay? You will occasionally want to go somewhere else, which would be uh, to atoms or molecules, whatever you prefer, atoms or molecules, 
And to do that, you must go through Avogadro's number. Is that okay? So if you look at my finger, if you're going this way, you got to multiply by Avogadro's number, meaning the big number's on top. If you're going this way, to, calculate, to cancel the moles. Is that okay? If you're going this way, you divide. Because you got got to get rid of molecules to get the moles. Does that seem okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can kind of keep that straight, see what cancels, you'll be okay. This thing here, this picture, will get extremely more complicated when we get by the time we get to chapter 6. Because there's going to be a lot more places we can go, but moles are always going to be the center of that. Is that kind of okay? All right. Thank you. No problem.